In this video, we will be looking at how to check our assumptions and model diagnostics using R. Specifically, we'll be looking at the soft drink example from our lesson. Uh, recall that in this example, we have our response being the time and our two regressors being the distance walked and the number of cases. And we have 24 employees. As a reminder, the plots that we are trying to get are the QQ plot, our residuals versus predicted, and then you can check the independence once you learn how to do the residuals, but again, this does rely on how you collect your data. So we won't really be checking this one in this video. So in R, again, you always wanna make sure that you are in the right directory to load your data. Um, I put column names here just so you know what they are. These names are a little bit funny just because of how I put it into our Excel file. Here we are going to run our model. Okay, so this is going to be fitting our model and doing all the diagnostics that, or not all the diagnostics. Um, this is fitting our model like we talked about in lesson 13. Okay. Now we want to get our predicted values and all, all you have to do to get your predicted values is to do fitted and then your model. And what this will give us are those values for the 24 observations. Okay. The next thing that you can get, again, there was dip, um, in the video I talked about there being different types of residuals. Here, if you just do residuals and your model, this is going to give you your raw residuals. If you do this one, it's going to get you your student-tized residuals. And there's also another one um, where it's R stand standard. And this would get your standardized residuals. I recommend using the studentized, but really it won't matter for this class. So if we run these, um, we can do a QQ plot. To do a QQ plot, all it is is this um, function Q norm. And we'll do it on our standardized residuals. So this highlighted line is going to give us a plot over here. And then this Q line of our studentized residuals is going to get us that red 45 degree. Okay. If we scroll down, now all, again, it's just plugging and chugging. Once we get these values up here, it's kind of plugging and chugging into our different plots. Um, we control copy paste and we can see our predicted values versus our residuals where again x is predicted y is our studentized residuals um, i just did the mean it would probably be a little bit more accurate to put zero but there isn't a difference really something else that you might be interested in looking at is the partial regression plots um, in our video, we had this hypothetical data, which I have here, and kind of just showing you the response and the regressors also. But what I'm going to do is show you guys more for our SOTA data. So in order to get the added variable plots, which is called, we need this um, library called cars. So we're going to control run that first, let that load. Now. It's again a very simple command. We're just going to go control run and it's going to get us those added variable plots that we were looking at um, previously. For our hypothetical data, just to validate that these are our plots where we're just doing our response and our regressors, then our added variable plots would be here. So, boom. Um, in lesson 15D, in the video I showed that in jump, it's as simple as converting your data. Um, this code right here, I'm not going to go into too much details doing this same idea. So um, here's your energy, here's your model for just the untransformed. We're going to plot the data. 
we're going to plot the residuals versus predicted. Then I come down here, I transform just the Y, I run the model, and again, I just plot the pictures that were seen in our notes. And then I do the square root, plot the data, and plot the residual versus predicted. So you have that there, and you can generate the plots that we had in our notes. And that covers it for the Lesson 15 Model Diagnostics.